Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, we have covered about uh, till shadow draw, and uh, in this video, I will show you that how we'll draw our stair with two landing. I mean, two landing stair we will draw in this video, and uh, if you didn't see my previous video. You can see that so let's start at first I will draw my previous model so here we have draw that and uh, by using that we will continue our next work so almost we have uh, done everything now we have to do a thing that uh, here we have to draw a stair with three landing so we'll use that point to draw a stair for that we need some reference line we have to draw some reference line for that and to draw a reference line and as uh, it is three landing so two landing so we have to divide that space from that point to that point in two part so from here we'll draw our building I mean draw our stair so for that first of all we'll go uh, there have many way to draw that but we'll go here first of all the distance of that portion is 10 feet we know that so we have to divide that 10 by 3 so that we can find out our desired height so 10 divided by 3 means 3.333 if we go here 10 divided by 3 it's 3.333 so and our, our distance from bottom it's 6 if we go here edit edit a story and from here grid system here modify grid system and from here reference plan we have to draw reference plan before that we have to see something go here our base is to the height is 6 feet so we'll go here and reference plan here reference plane in white direction so our first reference plane is 6 plus 3.333 so 9.9.33333 like that id r1 reference 1 again After that, uh, again we have to add 3.33 feet with that. So here 9.333 plus 3.3333 like that. So 12.666. 12.6. Six six six, and we'll give it R two. Okay. Okay. And okay. If you did that, and okay. So if we go down, then sorry. If we go top, here is our 
first reference point and then here is our second reference point and here is the top floor first of all we will give here a okay, let's start bound element so we will give here a sorry we will give here here a slab so go here slab it's 5 inch and uh, from that point to that point then that point then that point sorry sorry it's rectangle so from here we have to select that like way and okay our slab have been drawn after that we have to go this is the that we have to go that point and after that we'll go that top and we'll draw a slab here so for that to draw slab we need some point here reference point first of all we have to draw here reference point to draw our landing slab but before that we have to defend landing slab section slab section and add copy of it so slab uh, 8 inch 8 inch for a stair okay and it's 8 inch okay then okay so first of all we'll, we'll draw here reference point for landing so our first point will be here first landing will be here so for that draw joint object and from here first of all we'll draw for y 4 feet I mean 48 inch so from here it's 48 inch and again for x direction it's uh, 3.5 feet according to our previous plan it's 3.5 feet so 42 inch here 42 inch and also here 42 inch so we found out for reference point here we'll draw our stair so here we have found our four point and now we'll draw our slab so it's 8 inch not 5 inch it's 8 inch a stair slab and uh, from that point to that point we'll draw slab so we have found our that portion of slab now we can use here a beam to support the slab because uh, uh, it's sometimes necessary to use beam here uh, otherwise the slab will be very weak so let's use a beam so from here we'll use that beam 10 into 15 here so from that point to that point we have draw our beam now again we'll go our top floor here these are top reference I mean reference R2 then here we'll draw our same procedure like before so here draw joint object you can also draw here reference line uh, it's up to you because uh, it is depend on your technique so from here it's one point and uh, for y direction it's minus 48 so from here and uh, from here minus 48 so we have found our here we have found our 
four point again we will go to draw slab go here or you can use that point and that point so I'll go here 18 and from here I'll go that point so that is a slab and I'll also draw a beam so from that point to that point so our slab are okay now we'll again go our bottom floor and we'll draw our next part of this so for that you have to go that option and from here we'll select 18 slab now this is the first point this is the second point after that we have to go top portion and this is the third point and this is the fourth point then right click so you can see here you can see here this is our stair portion and after that you can see it in extra mode so if you go here sorry here here is your slab after that we'll draw again our slab so first of all we'll select that point then that point then we'll go top that sorry that point then we'll go that point and right click sorry go down select that and this is our this was slab 8 and this is our first point and this is our second point after that we have to go top and that is our third point and that is our point and right click so here also slab have done after that we'll also click here and again click here then go top then click here and click here right click so slab are okay so that is the way to drop or draw our slab if we go here if we just want to see only our here one If we go here so beam column all null frame wall link okay apply done okay so from here we can see that From here we can see that 
this is our slab this is our slab here have two landing here have two landing you can see that they have two landing and also three part of it so like that way we can throw our slab it's done again I'll go here apply okay like that way we can draw our a stair with two landing and uh, in next video I will show that how will the load on it how will mesh that and after that I will replicate that so thank you thank you very much as to stay connected in next video and if you think that this is helpful for you just press the like button so that I can understand that is helpful for you <coughs>